of Jamaica, baby, they made me to be the greatest. Serving the deed of my creators, fresh off of my high haters. It's the king again, Magdalene, Sophie, bragging and boasting. YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Dollars. Welcome back to the channel. It's another day, another dollar video. This time I'm reacting to this Halo Infinite gameplay demo. Halo Infinite is coming out on the Xbox Series X. And it's the next Halo. Pretty much that's all I got to sum it up. I haven't played Halo games like that. Like I'm a PlayStation person. I'm a I'm a straight playstation loyalist so um every system i own has been playstation since the ps1 days so uh i never really saw a reason to get an xbox now if the xbox series x gets some exclusive games that's gonna be fire like it would have to be like a game that i really want to play like you see how um playstation has spider-man ps4 it would have to be on that level for me to spend money and get an xbox series x now there's some debate whether the xbox series x is going to be more powerful than the, um than the playstation 5 and in some ways it may be more powerful but the thing that the playstation 5 has going for it is going to be the exclusive games because we know sony has the best exclusives and the new ssd that's going to be in that uh playstation 5 supposedly they they really change the game with this ssd that it may be better than some pcs because the ssd is what loads up the screen faster let's say you in a map and you, you're looking at a different part of the map and it opens up more the ssd is going to be so fast that you'll see more of the map it's just going to allow new and innovative ideas and gameplay ideas for these gaming companies so there's been a lot of praise heaped on the ssd of the ps5 which I can't wait to get my hands on. So, I mean, Xbox, I have nothing against it. It's just I would prefer Sony since I've been with them for the longest. And I like the exclusives. And, you know, to me personally, I always felt the controller was more comfortable for than holding an Xbox. But um, let's get into this. And listen, all you Xbox fans out there, don't come for me. I'm not hating on y'all. I, I must be, I mean. This is a punishment, right? Yep, this is death. No! No! No, 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 no! This isn't happening. I'm going to have to make an emergency landing. Hold on, shit! I thought he was no. a runner. Get no, you. I can't stand this. So is this no, you are Halo free. Five no. or, or you don't get to tell six? Me what to do. You don't get to tell me anything. We. I don't know. I love count. Are you even listening? I count three anti-aircraft cannons. Three what? You'll be safe here. Oh, I'll be safe. <laughs> safe? I haven't been safe since I found you. I found you. Remember? You were out there on your own, and you'd still be out there if it wasn't for me. I thought I was going home. This guy wants to Scooby Snack. will be home if we don't stop the banished. You keep saying that. We're outgunned, outnumbered. I know I saw. I have a feeling they're gonna go the Doom route. We need to dig through them and find one with the working slip space drive. And when you're done with this war, we'll get away from here. As far as gameplay, far away. Non-stop action. Wait here. Oh, please. Let me see what I can find. Cannons first. When I get back, we can look. Together. What's up with the patriotic music? Okay, big guy. Ooh, throw you right into it.
I like the little blue blood explosion. Love how all the guns sound. It has a good sound design to it. Yeah, the sound in this game is awesome. Mind you, I'm, I'm using Astro A40s. Very good gaming headset. I recommend it. Nice. Are these um uh, these enemies from the original or is this a new enemy type? Like the same type of alien he usually kills. Any Halo fans that come across this video, can you explain to me what's the difference compared to the other ones besides graphics and all that? Like, are you noticing any new animations, gameplay design, tweaks? Anything new that you may notice, let me know. Hopefully it'll be a good campaign in the story, but um, people mostly care about multiplayer. I mean, that's what I mostly care about, so I, I want to see what, what's that, what that's going to look like. I'm more curious to see the multiplayer. Okay, that, that's definitely some freaking Doom. They biting some Doom gameplay right there. Honestly, this doesn't look better than Doom. Doom Eternal? That game looks fucking lost this awesome. Months ago. Fast Your gameplay. It looks fun. This is kind of slow. Hunt it. Defeat it. By me. I wish I could tell you it was difficult. But it wasn't. <laughs> We are one step ahead. Always. The ring is already under our control. Soon, the auditorium as well. The Harbinger and the Banished share the same goal. We fight together to honor the will of Atriarchs. But without chance. These guys look like freaking Lord of the Ring Weird. orcs Lost. from space. Alone. But here you now stand. They look like they got the game design this from uh, Lord of the Ring Shadow of Mordor. It's what they're called this game. True Enemy test designs. of legends. Our story will outlive us both. Set a fire in your heart, Spartan! This guy's doing a lot of talking. Bear your fangs! Fight hard! Die well! What a 
motivational speaker. Trailer as well. Alright guys, well, I mean, the gameplay didn't look that exciting to me. It looked like typical first-person shooter, but, uh... I mean, look, I like first-person shooters. I'm mostly a Call of Duty person, you know, so... When I play multiplayer, it's for like... I said multi. When I play, when I play first-person shooters, it's for multiplayer modes. It's not really for the story, but I do play the story mode as well. Like I do all the campaigns of every Call of Duty before I even hop into multiplayer. But um, this looks like the. I mean, depending on the story, I don't, I don't know. I never played Halo, so I can't tell you if the story is repetitive or isn't gonna be a good story or not. You know, but for the campaign mode, you just hope that it's gonna be fun a good story a long chunky campaign and then you know what everybody really cares about is the multiplayer and this is the next gen this is the xbox oh it's coming out for xbox one as well that's interesting see it's not an exclusive to the series x so i'm feeling like they probably cut some corners with this game. This is reminding me of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, where it was only 30 frames per second. And, you know, and they do that because they want to make money off of the last console generation and the new console generation. But if you're getting the upgraded version, it's not going to be nothing different. It's like you're really getting a PS4, Xbox One game. So it says Xbox One. I don't know, man. This is looking kind of shaky. This wouldn't make me spend money to get an Xbox. I'm going to tell you that right now. So, uh, they got to come again. They got to try harder. So, if you're a fan of Halo, let me know what you think about this trailer. Did it excite you? Are you looking forward? Obviously, if you're a fan, I know you're going to play the game and get it. But, um, did they really make any adjustments or anything new to excite you guys about this game? Be honest. All right? So, anyway... It's your boy Dallas. Shout out to the new subscribers. I appreciate it. Let's get to 100 subs. We're almost there. Hit the like button to get these videos out there and subscribe if you haven't already. And also, guys, follow me on my Instagram. Follow me on my Twitter. And, you know, that's how you can get in contact with me or leave a comment so we could build up some dialogue. Let's talk. I'm trying to build a community here. You know, let's do it.